Hello guys and welcome back. In the previous parts, we have successfully configured our routes and also we developed this bottom navigation bar. So right now we are able to navigate between the pages. But what we are missing is the color of the application or our branding color. If you remember from our design part, which we designed our application using Adobe XD. So let me run this design. Here you can see we have chosen this color as our branding color and this color is spread all over the application. But unfortunately, this color is not available inside the colors.dart, which most of the colors in the Flutter is existed. So how we can create a custom color and how we can just put it as our branding color. Here inside the main.dart, we have this material app which has this theme as a property and this theme is a type of theme data and this has a primary swatch property which is a material color so how we can create this color and you can see right now we have this colors.blue choosing as our primary color for this application and if I change it to red and save it you can see that the app bar color is changed so how we can create this one it is really easy if i can press the command on mac or control on windows and click on these colors you can see that these colors.dart is open and this colors.dart is basically a class called colors and has all these static properties and if i just scroll a little bit and click here you can see we have this red color which is a type of material color and with these different shades so it is really easy to create this type of color so let me just copy this color and come back here inside the main dot dot and paste that color and let me remove this static const from this color and just save it and come here inside the primary swatch and i am just going to just put that red color here you can see it's still the color of the application is red so we use this custom color here so basically what we did is we customized this color but this is not the color of our application or our branding color what is our branding color this one so let me copy and if i come here and paste it after this uh, 0xff here and if I just remove this hash key from it and save it and this is not changing so let me refresh the application you can see that right now we have our branding color so it is here and our branding color is in place but unfortunately if you see here for this sheets mostly these sheets are red but we don't have that uh, color as our, you know, we don't have different shades of our primary color or branding color. So how we can create these different shades from our application or from the color? That is really easy inside the dot. And if suppose for the testing purpose, I write the color and put the dot, you can see right now we have these different methods that we can create a color from these things and the most easiest one is this uh, colors dot from rgbo basically we have this rgbo or uh, which is red green blue with opacity but unfortunately right now we have what we have is this hexadecimal value which is not in the format of rgb so how we can create an RGB from an hexadecimal value that is really easy if you just open the browser and inside the Google uh, just uh, you know type convert hex to RGB and hit enter so you will end up with this shit suggestions and if you just click on this one the first element or the first one you can see we have this and if I paste that color and press the convert you can see we have the uh, red green and blue equivalent of this color and here is the full format so let me copy this rgb or, or this part which is the rgb 
equivalent of this uh, color and come here inside the main and let me just select the first one and write the color dot from RGBO which is this red green and blue part and let me paste that values but here we don't have this opacity so this opacity is basically a value which is just changing from 0 to 1 and suppose if I put right now 0 0.1 and save it you can see right now we have this shit which is not clearly visible so this is basically our first shit from this uh, you know this color and suppose if I just copy that uh, color and if I just copy the rest of this color which is not going to be selected so let me put till this part and press the control D here and uh, just select the wrist and paste that color here and save it you can see uh, still we have that uh, color so let me change this opacity so basically this is 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 and here what we have is 0 0.7 because 6 is the, our primary color so so we have seven we have eight we have nine and finally we have one so basically we have this rgb and this opacity which is ranging from 0 0.1 to this one and right now you can see here we have these different shades and if i again refresh the application you can see right now our branding color is already in place and we can use it but this is not a good practice to put this color inside the main what we can do is just let me cut this color from here and what I'm going to do is right now I am going to click on this lip and I am going to create a directory and I'll call it as values if you coming from the Android world we have this values directory and inside that we have the uh, you know the colors the strings and so on so let me borrow this convention from there and i am going to create this, a file called branding underscore color dot dart and here i am going to paste that color but we are ended up with this squiggly line so let me bring the material dot dart and right now we are good to go but unfortunately what we have is here right now it's called red so this is not red so what we want is we want to call it as our branding color and i am going to just you know select this underscore red primary color and i am going to call it as branding so branding primary color so this is our branding primary color but right now we are not able to export these values from this file so i am going to create some constant values if i change this one to constant i need to call this primary color also to change it to constant as well so constant integer so right now we are good to go and i am going to the main and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that branding color here which is a type of material color so basically this primary swatch needs a primary color or a material color and if I put it here right now we are good to go but you can see still we have this blue line here why this is not changed because the problem is that we put some logic for changing this uh, you know the color or the selected index color and if I just go to the home here inside the home page you can see we have this color as blue so color dot blue so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one and press ctrl D so I'm you know all the colors are selected and what I'm going to do is here I'm going to print the team dot off context dot primary color and if i press that and save it you can see right now we have our primary color uh, selected here or our branding color selected here so this is how you can change 
uh, or the color of the application and put your branding color and from now on we are going to use this color as our primary color or our branding color 